Hey everybody, this is Captain Kimo, and in this tutorial I am going to show you how to create this eagle shot right here. Now this eagle photo is composed of two different photos, this image of an eagle and this image of clouds. I took those two images to compose them in Photoshop and I got this image here. Now I took this image and I tone mapped it in Photomatix to get this photo here. And once I got this photo tone mapped, I took it into Photoshop to create the final image which is this image that you see here. So without further ado, we're going to get started and we're going to start right from Photoshop. Okay, so I have my eagle shot open in Photoshop Elements and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to denoise our photo. I'm going to make a duplicate of the background layer here. Control J on PC, Command J on a Mac, and we're going to zoom in up close on the eagle here. And I want to denoise it because the image here, I shot this at 800 ISO and it's going to have a little bit of a noise. I like to shoot high ISO when I shoot wildlife stuff so I can shoot as fast as I can and try to stop the action. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Topaz Denoise to remove the noise from the image. So let's go ahead and go into filters in the Topaz Labs into Topaz Denoise. So now I have my Denoise window open and the reason I like Denoise is because of all the extra feature that it gives control over reducing noise versus just the Photoshop Denoise feature. It's very limited whereas in Topaz I have all these other options but we won't be going into it so I'm just gonna use uh, JPEG Strong which is which is good enough, which is will make it perfect. You can see here the noise is gone. If I go back to the original, you can see it's really grainy. So we're going to go ahead and just use strong. And then I'm going to click OK and let denoise process the photo. All right, so now that we have our photo denoised, I'm going to zoom out. And what we're going to do next is we're going to clean up the eagle here a little bit. I'm going to use the spot healing tool. And we're just going to go over spots here on the eagle feather just to make the eagle look a little more presentable and I'm just gonna go over areas where I might feel that it's a little distracting so we're just gonna go just dot in that area here and there just to make it look a little nicer and that looks pretty good so let's see the uh, so this is the before and then this is the after where the eagle looks a lot nicer. Let me just dot a little bit right there and that's that looks good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to run Topaz Remask. That is to cut out this blue background and then we're going to bring in the cloud to combine the two. So first we'll need to remove the blue background and I'm going to do that. You can erase it using the eraser tool or you can add a layer mask and start painting in black to remove the blue sky. But I'm going to use Topaz Remask to do the job. So let's go into Filter, Topaz Labs and Topaz Remask and this will give us our remask window. Our window should look like this where it's green. This means this is everything that we want to keep in that layer but uh, we want to remove the sky so what we're going to do is we're going to use the compute brush tool here this is the blue one I'm just going to go over the edges of the eagle here with the blue brush and I'm not going to go perfect I'm just going to go really quick around the eagle And for some of you who don't know this, if you um, if you click and hold the shift key, let's say I want to click here, and then I hold the shift key down, and I move up here, it'll make a, a line like that. So for those who don't want to freehand it like I am, you can do that. Kind of go like this while holding shift, and it'll just follow your mouse clicks. And now we're going to use the bucket tool here the red bucket tool and we're gonna click on the sky area and this will tell Topaz Remask that it doesn't want the sky and it'll remove the sky so now we're gonna hit the compute mask button here and it'll basically create a mask out of what we just uh, did here and if we go into the keep you can see that it basically gave us just the eagle and remove the background or the blue background but I am going to need to make this mask a little nicer here because I do see some small areas 
like right here in the wing, I'm going to use the green brush here to kind of brush in this area because I want the feather here. And you can either brush in over on this window or you can brush in on this window. I like to use this split screen here which helps out a lot. And for areas right here where there's still some blue, you can use the red paint brush tool to kind of fine tune it and paint in the area here. And so we can switch back and forth here. I like to use the uh, shortcut buttons here. Q is for keep and W is for remove. So we're just going to go through the area real fast here and just start cleaning it up a little bit, keeping the areas we want and removing the areas that we don't want. So, and it looks pretty good. So I'm just going to make this real fast here. Right around here I'm going to want to remove this little area so I'm going to do that. With the remove the red the red brush tool. Alright and I think and that looks good so we're going to go and hit OK. OK so let's check out our mask here. Look you can see here that it's created the uh, mask. So what I'm going to do is click these eyeballs here and you can see that it created a mask around the eagle and it did a pretty good job and it was pretty easy to do if you were to do it manually it'd probably take a very long time um, erasing it or using or even using a layer mask now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in the cloud so I'm gonna just open the cloud right here and I'm gonna select all copy it and then I'm gonna paste it and the cloud will be in a new layer and what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag that below the eagle layer so that we have our eagle on top of the cloud. So we go ahead and zoom out on that. And we're gonna to want to make the eagle a little bigger so control T for transform tool, command T on a Mac and what I'm gonna do is I am going to just type in 135% because that is exactly how big I want to make it. So we're going to go right about there and now we're gonna just move it a little bit and center it onto the canvas and that looks good right there so I'm just gonna hit enter and now we have our composite with the eagle and the clouds in the back next we're going to save this composite as a Photoshop file and then we're gonna take that composite file and tone map it in Photomatics alright so I have Photomatics open now and we have our eagle composite open and what we're going to do is we're going to tone map it so we're going to click the tone mapping button okay so once we have our tone mapping window right now it's on enhancer default and I'm not going to want to use detail enhancer for this I'm going to want to use compressor or tone compressor so we're going to use the compressor deep and I kind of like it the way it is right now so I'm going to just going to use it as is and I'm going to process the image so I'm going to hit process and let photomatics process the HDR version of this image I'm going to go ahead and save it, so I'm going to go save as and just save it right here. I'm going to save it as uh, number one. I'm going to save it in my director here. Next I'm going to undo this tone mapping. I'm going to undo it and then I'm going to tone map it again and this is for using black and white here. I'm going to go into the black and white preset and what this does is it gives me a little more detail in our uh, eagle and I'm going to use that in in combining the two to bring out the detail in the compressor. So we have our compressor which has nice color, nice contrast, but we have black and white enhancer which has a lot of good detail. So we're going to take it into Photoshop and we're going to merge them and blend them together to make one really cool HDR image. So let's go ahead and process this and then we're going to save it. We're going to save this as two and then now let's go into Photoshop and open the two images and put them together. Okay we have our tone map images opened in Photoshop Elements. This is the image with tone compressor and this is with detail enhancer. Now I'm going to select all here on the black and white. I'm going to copy it. Now I'm going to paste it on top of the tone compressor and this will give us the two HDR images in one file. So what I'm going to do with the black and white is I'm going to change the transparency mode here to luminosity. This will bring back color in the image but keep the uh, the luminosity of the black and white or keep the, the shadow and the highlights from the black and white image. And then we're going to go into opacity and we're just going to adjust it back and I'm going to want to play around with it a little bit to see where I want it to stick. And I'm liking 40 so I'm going to 
type in 40 I'm gonna keep it right there so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna flatten the image so I'm gonna layer and flatten image this will flatten our image down and I'm going to duplicate this image again I'm gonna hit control J command G on a Mac to duplicate that background image and we're gonna run another filter on there a topaz adjust filter so we're gonna go into filter topaz labs topaz adjust and what we're gonna do with topaz adjust is just give it a little bit more pop and I'm gonna go into the adjust for presets because this is what I'm used to so I'm gonna go into Topaz adjust for presets and we're going to look for the neutralizer by Jorge Diaz. I'm going to click that and then we have very fine detail here so I'm going to be before and then this is the after. So we're going to process that so we can hit OK and let it process that uh, photo. Next we're going to do the same thing we did with that black and white is go into transparency mode and use luminosity and again we're going to change the opacity and we're going to bring it down and kind of play around with it until we get it just right and I think 25 is just right so here is the before and here is the after with a little more detail alright so we're almost done now I'm gonna flatten it again so I'm gonna go to layers and flatten the image and I'm gonna duplicate the background image again and what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna wanna brighten up the area here around the head maybe some areas in the wing and the body just to kind of draw the eye into the eagle and we're going to go into the uh, transparency mode. We're going to change it to screen, and that will brighten everything up. And we're going to want to add a layer mask, and then use the Control I on a PC and Command I on a Mac to invert the layer. This will make everything invisible on this layer here. And we're going to go and use the paintbrush tool to paint back in the around the head of the eagle. So we're going to go in with 20% opacity using the paintbrush tool, make sure the layer mask is selected, and just start kind of painting around the area making the eagle head a little brighter. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So let's see the before and after. So this is before and this is after. So now our eagle's head is a little more vibrant and more lively so you can see our eye kinda goes towards the eagle head which is what I'm going after here alright so everything is looking good um, the last thing we're gonna do and this is for the eye of the eagle it's it's brighter but it's lacking color so I wanna give it some more color and give it some more life so we're gonna flatten the image down and then we're going to go into the marquee tool here and I'm going to just make a little selection around the eagles eyeball and I'm gonna duplicate that. I'm gonna hit the control J and it'll duplicate the I right on this layer here. And I'm going to hit control U on a PC, which will bring up our hue and saturation menu. It's command U on a Mac. And I'm gonna move this a little bit here so you can see the eye. I am going to click the colorize button and that'll colorize our eye. And this is what I'm looking for here. It's just to add some color to the eagle eye. So I'm gonna to go to around the orangish yellow area and then we're gonna bring the saturation up and maybe drop down the lightness a little bit or play around with it. Maybe bring it up actually. Just play around with it. And that looks a lot better. So we're gonna hit OK and then I'll show you the this is the uh, before and this is the after with some extra color in the eye to make the uh, eagle pop a little better so here we have before and after alright so that wraps up this tutorial for our eagle let's uh, go over what we just did okay so we took this eagle shot and this cloud shot we took into Photoshop to compose to create this image and then we went into photomatics to tone map to get this image using tone compressor to tone map for color and contrast we also tone map for detail using detail enhancer to get this image and we took the two images from photomatics and we took them to photoshop to get this image so we started from this image and we got this image that is it for this tutorial i hope you keep practicing and keep shooting and i'll keep producing videos for you to watch so until next time this is captain chemo signing out